Hey guys, welcome back to Metroid Zero Mission Blind. Last time we got some stuff and then I got a little bit wandery and I got a headache so I just ended it prematurely a little bit. But we were here going up to this blip. Whoops, why did I do that? I should have used him as a platform again. So right, I did look up a video I, up to this point just to make sure that you can get this and you can. Why didn't she grab the ledge? Mm, we're not doing this. This is not how we start a video. And also, why did I do that? Yeah, crud. It's making everything take longer. I know this is possible, but also on that note, I hope I don't get the worst ending. I'll settle for second best. I think for a first playthrough, the second worst ending is acceptable. Standard fair. Now this, this is a very weird thing. Again, I watched a video just to make sure. I didn't go too far ahead, but these bugs, you gotta just wait for them to destroy this stuff. And there's puzzles later on where you have to make them latch onto Samus and then carry them to another one of these things in order to get some pickups. I don't remember which pickups exactly, but I know it's a feature of this game. Another one of those obscure things. All right. Actually, right here, we gotta- don't kill them. Okay, just transfer them over to this thing, because they'll latch onto Samus, I think, by default. That's probably where you're supposed to learn that mechanic. And there's Varya suit. Okay, so now we gotta go all the way back to Norfair. I'll probably cut that out, because you know me and that map system. I sometimes forget even where the main tunnel that links everything is. Something about orange Samus always feels good. Sometimes I like that better than the gravity suit. Oh! Hi, energy tank. How do I get to you? But yeah, we're immune to lava now. I don't think all types. I think it's kind of like Super Metroid, how there's like an acid that still damages you until you get gravity suit. Mmm, that spring ball in the lava. Very nice. Okay, back to Norfair. On my way, wandering these main halls, I found this thing again. Wait, what? Oh yeah, power grip. Oh, it's just missiles? Well, I mean, I'll take them. Where does this go? Uh, where am I again? And where am I going? Anything down here? Nope. Okay, finally made it back to the Norfair elevator. I will be definitely cutting all that out. I don't know what it is with the main hallways, but I always get them confused. So now, we have super missiles, we have Varia suit, the heated rooms, we have a blip showing south of the bubble room, which required speed booster, and we did discover a heated room. I do remember that much. Yeah, getting the feel for it. Oh yeah, that's one thing I do like about the Game Boy Advance games. If you hit a slope while shine sparking and still hold the button forward, you just continue with the speed booster. It's definitely very neat, and that's what enables them. Also this, this was a super missile door. Uh, do I dare? Of course I do. It's heated. No matter, we have Varia. I don't know what I'm walking into here. I don't know if I'm in like an exit path after some crazy Ridley nonsense. Well, no. Ridley's got his own hideout, just like Kraid. Oh, crud. Okay. Yeah, this is that lava. I need gravity suit to be protected from that. All kinds of stuff is happening right now. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even see that. I just jumped to avoid that guy. All right. What do we got in here? A thing. Bombable thing. And super missiles. Wait, is this one of those things that it's like a chain reaction? Hit it. Yes, it is. Okay, I should have expected that. Okay. 
hang on, if we reload the room, Shine Sparks immediately come to mind, as they do. They're like the next best solution after a wall jump fails. So... That's how you screw it up. Write it down in your notebooks, that's how you be a moron. Whoa, he almost got me. Press down... Now, okay. Bomb it, go! Angle, crap! Okay. Bomb it, go back! Horizontal. Oh, I thought I missed it again. There we go, that was easier than I made it look. Yet another multiple attempt thing that just is racking up the in-game clock. Get ready to say hello to the worst ending. I hope not still, but... This game has a ton, I think. I think I remember seeing something that there's like eight different possible endings. Which is ridiculous. I mean, Super Metroid has three at most, I think. But alright, this was a little detour that I wasn't really expecting, but obviously curious about. And we have more Super Missiles. I still think I got Super Missiles early. But I don't know that it really affects anything. I kind of wish I knew what I was doing and somehow got Varia early. Because it would be nice to do Norfair in like one or two trips. And I feel like that's required for... Oh, whoops. I keep forgetting about the stupid speed blocks. Yeah, if you want any hope of the best ending, I feel like you need to do that. Very minimal trips, obviously. What a dumb sentence. I think in order to do things fast, you gotta spend less time doing stuff. Ah, jeez, the green guy. You wouldn't think green would be tougher than red. Doesn't red strike you as a more dangerous color than green? That's right, the tunnel that was heated. I took a risk, but then was like, yeah, I can't do it. Now we can, let us see. If this leads to where we need to go. I think I was supposed to go up. Oh well. Wall jumps cure everything as we've been over in Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion, and now this game. This is a very long, slopey terrain, which once again brings to mind Speed Booster. In fact, I was right. What a strange mix of blocks. Some bomb ones scattered in, and others you can just destroy, no problem. Is it tedious? Maybe slightly. Don't go in the door now. Alright. Run and jump, maybe? Or do we have to shine spark? We'll jump first. Oh yeah, those are fun to do, too. Fusion has some of that. Oh, it's another one of these tough guys. Get out of town! Thank you. I like this room. Nice background, nice bridge. Save room, I'm gonna forego it for now. Bubbles! Lost yet? I kinda am. Heat. I still haven't seen the Norfair room I was talking about back in like episode 2. The Phantom Menace. No, that wasn't episode 2. That was the Clone Wars. Hey. I wonder. I'm just nervous I'm walking into trouble doing these green doors this early. If it is early. Wait a minute! I think this is the room! I remember these little one bricks on the NES, watching my dad and all these little fire guys. I think this is it! Just remade. But there was multiple, not just the purple guys. There's an orange one. As if I would, though. 
being three or four watching my dad and not really messing too deep into the NES game. I'm not surprised I don't remember everything. Unless that's new. Is that big middle chunk that I just went through? Is that brand new and not in the NES? Four supers. I don't is that my maximum? There might have been something down there too in the lava. Remember those guys? Is this? It's fake. Yeah, these dudes. I remember them. And now we got the fast cars. That's how you know you're in the deep tail end of the game area kind of thing. Only Metroid can make it so. Well, I guess Iron Knuckles and Zelda give that vibe too. But there's just something about Metroid. It's like the unspoken ambiance of things. Although Zelda's unspoken too. Super missiles, huh? Okay, <laughs> I'm just being stupid. I'm missing something, or I'm not supposed to be here right now. Wait a minute. Freeze the enemy as a platform. Do not forget, Ice Beam was a huge... Wait, yeah, I gotta wait. I did it too early. That's the thing, Ice Beam and High Jump, you take for granted in, like, Super Metroid, because it doesn't really change much. God, wait, can I reach that? Yeah! Now, wait a minute, something from that video is ringing a bell. I think there's more to it. Then there's also Speed Booster Blocks, which is telling me. Wait a minute. I have an idea, and then I have a second idea. Idea one... Get back up here. Oh, crud. Get ready for him. Freeze him again, and maybe there's a tunnel. Crap, that's too far. There is definitely something up with that wall, but if it's speed booster blocks... ...then that's insane. Gotta build up a shine spark. Crap, come on, work! There it is. What an awesome way to exit a room. But I think I gotta carry that shine spark if I did it the other way. Back into that room and blitz through the super missile thing that I was struggling with. But for the interest of time, I already know I'm not getting 100%, so... I'm just gonna pass it up. That's fake lava, you can tell. And I think it's where we need to go. But there's also the heated room above me. And this door is a thing. I don't know where to go first. Oh, okay, that helps. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're pretty close to Ridley, actually. So we could go to that heated room. There might be something there. And then go down the fake lava. Or we could do the fake lava first. Doesn't really matter. But if the map is something to go off of, we know this is just one room. Wait a minute. This isn't what I thought it was on the map. I'm already confused. Come back up, buddy! Oh well. Yeah, this is just a way back to the other room. I don't know, I got confused. I thought I was going to that one gray square that was uncovered. I lost where I actually was. Okay, so we'll just go down here then. But jumping in lava, that always reminds me of that scene from Dante's Peak where the grandma's feet burn in the lava. Because they take a wooden canoe across a lake of lava. As if that's realistic. That's... There's definitely something down there, but... We need Gravity Suit. Which isn't even in the original game. But I think it is in this one. It's one of the... Added additions. Added additions? Redundant much? See what I mean? How everything looks relatively the same? The NES is even worse, as I've said, like, in every episode. Jeez. 
Again, which one do we do first? Down goes to where we need to go. Speed boosters in here, too. Man, there's like speed boosters on every screen. I guess that's the thing. Once you know where it is... Oh. Wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. But yeah, once you know where stuff is from bombing and seeing the blocks, you know somewhere nearby is where you begin the puzzle, even if it is a shine spark thing. And eventually you'll figure it out, and then once you know it, then it's a matter of just starting a new game and executing it all really fast. That's playing a video game. Again. Could I say any more obvious things? This is an enjoyable room. I like the platforming. And of course, any room that has one of those traditional bricks with a missile on it, I like it. I don't know if that's just the childhood me carrying over, just the memories of watching my dad. Especially in Norfair, like I said, just the coziness of it. It's just a small happiness I get when I see a missile like that. This definitely doesn't look like something in the original game. Okay, well this is breakable. It's fake again. This should lead to the blip, I think. Because I thought we were close to it in the other room downstairs. Or down bubble, whatever the heck this is. Careful, that might be trouble. Yes, we made it. What is it? Wave beam. Oh, that's that's nice. That's rich. <laughs> Pass through solid objects. Yep. Now, how is that going to be used in this game? Did you get wave beam in the original? You may have. It is very weird that there was two ice beams in that game, though. Or was it two long beams? Yeah! What are you gonna do about it, buddy? Nothing. Ah, uh, well, the recording is showing a lot of time. I'm gonna cut a lot of it out because I was wandering lost and failing at tricks. So, sorry to cut it short if it ends up being short. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get back on track and play a little cleaner next time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care.